Well, we're here at the CCA workbench and I brought in my good buddy Ray Rocher to take place of Dave while he's on vacation. And, you know, guys, I want you to know Ray is a very accomplished captain. He's won many billfish titles throughout the world, uh, obviously in the Bahamas as well as Bermuda and the East Coast. But, you know, Ray, you own a company called r, &R Tackle and you make a lot of really cool stuff tonight. I thought it would be really appropriate to talk about deep dropping mm -hmm. and we see that Carl's catching big groupers. So yep. why don't we get into this deep drop rig that you make for r, &R. So this is the grouper rig, correct? Yep. yep, I would say uh, probably the two most important features are commercial grade swivels. You mm -hmm. know, we tried the sliding swivels in years past, didn't work as well. This gives you a very secure uh, fixture to that leader, in other words, it doesn't move. Mm -hmm. And we have swivels on our hooks, which help reduce that stress on the hook as the fish is getting brought up. All right, so let's break down this uh, deep drop rig. It's, what pound test is this? 400 pound 400, main? yeah. And then this for the fish? 300. This is a heavier grouper rig, but that's where we're at. Now, twisting, time. as you said, Ray, certainly changes everything. What size hook do we have here? That's a tenno. How many do we have on this particular rig? Four hooks on our grouper rig, on our heaviest rig, and then we'll have five hooks on some of the smaller ones. All right, so obviously this is a heavy, heavy duty yep. uh, rig. So Ray, what kind of fish are we gonna be targeting in Texas and, and how deep? Well, usually in that 350 to 450 depth, uh, uh, vermilion snappers, some more saw groupers, move out a little deeper, that five to 700 foot depth, uh, more yellow edge groupers, barrel fish, et cetera. And then in that 1,000 to 1,200 feet is where you'll target uh, tile fish, especially golden tiles. All right, so what kind of rod and reel are we going to put this on, Ray? Well, usually it's a short, uh, shorter than usual solid fiberglass blank, bent butt, variety of reels, Electromate, Crystal, Hooker, uh, Lingram Pittman, of course. And all of these, uh, these reels will do the job. So it's really a matter of deciding what features do you want in a reel. We use Hooker reels. It, and on our boat mainly because we're able to detach that motor and it becomes a hand crank reel. So if somebody wants to fight a fish without the motor, you can go either way. All right, so would you tip this? You okay. know, what, would you, what kind of bait would we use in tipping this? Well, squids, number one. Uh-huh. Cigar minnows, hardtails, whole or half. Uh, even strips of bait like barracuda, bonita, you know, anything that hangs onto that hook. In, the glow tube is there to hide a little bit of that hardware, but it also is an attractant. A glow tube is much like a glow worm you might put on a jig, so it doesn't hurt. So what are some of the key points or mistakes that we make when we're, we're doing this? Didn't you tell me when we were uh, rehearsing this, Ray, that this somehow or another gets locked around, but because of the multiple swivels? Yeah, that helps stop a fish from getting spun off on the way up. You know, it all looks great when it comes out of the package, you know, that spins easy. But under the stress of being retrieved, and remember sometimes there's multiple fish so they're pulling in different directions, this branch line can get caught somehow and pinned on that main line and now you've lost the, the, the ability of that swivel to work and that's where that second swivel helps. So we're swiveling at the hook, we're swiveling at the swivel, yep. and then the swivel swiveling. Yeah, we got a lot of swiveling going on. Swivel. <laughs> so Ray, also we make other sizes, so yep. what else do we have here? This particular rig here is what size? Uh, that one is a 7.0. We have a 5.0, 8.0, so kind of covering the different sizes of fish, vermilion snappers, 5.0s, and then that 7 and 8.0 would be great for the tile fish, red snappers, uh -huh. and of course the 10.0s for the groupers. So the smaller ones, how many hooks do they come five. with? Five. So they come with five. Yeah, five chances, give you four more chances. Oh, I like it. <laughs> so if guys want to purchase these or they got questions, that where can they go to find out more information about R&R? There, there's quite a few dealers in Texas. We have a dealer list on our website, rnrtackle.com, and uh, lots, of, lots of places there in, in Texas to get these rigs. All right, guys, you should be able to remember this. Rick and Ray, R&R &R Tackle. There you go. Right? Rick and Ray. I wish it was partly mine. He's way too smart for me, Bree, but it's time to go to another region. Rick and Ray.